I'm Jack. I came to my last uh, Drupal meetup, my first Drupal meetup last month. Um, and I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I've been working with Drupal for a couple of years, but I've never come along to one of these. So I thought, um, what better way to repay my, uh, my attendance with a little quick preso. So I'm going to talk about um, using Drupal as a simple data source. <clears throat> Um, I've got a, a little proof of concept that I built using the services module. Um, yeah, and I'll do a little demo as well. So why am I doing this? Um, we had a, a client who uh, have an existing Drupal site that has, a, I guess, a traditional blog or news section. And they wanted to be able to expose, um, expose that content on a mobile device. Um, they have all these other requirements as well. so. You can filter it based on tags, and you can save your preferences and all that sort of thing, which I'm not going to get into. Um, but that's why I looked at this. My approach, um, <clears throat> so the four modules that I've got are services, uh, views, services, services views, and libraries. Um, basically, it goes from Drupal uh, via JSON and then to a, a theoretical mobile device. Um, Cool, so I'm going to jump straight into a demo. So I basically, I've got a, a standard um, Drupal Quick install. Um, <coughs> loaded with sample content. So the first thing that I got, once I've installed these modules, uh, you get a services um, item in the structure section, and <clears throat> I added a, a, an example service, I guess. Um, I chose JSON because people like JSON and it's quite easy. Um, so within my service, the things to define are the type of server, um, the path to the endpoint, which is basically the first parameter of the URL that you'll use when you want to access your service. Um, then I said it's only available via JSON. That means that if you just access it, it will default to JSON. If you choose all of these other ones, you can, like, for example, if you have XML, you can access, if I take both of these, I can access the one service um, and just add a .json or a .xml and it will give me the right one. I have no authentication. Um, and I've just exposed a view or the access to views um, from within uh, services. So the, the beauty of using views, I guess, is that you can um, do all of your config and like, set everything up in views. Uh, and then it's a fairly simple thing to just expose that. If you want to change it later, you can change it in views. Um, if you do it right, there will probably be minimal changes on the other end. Before I go too much further, how many people have used services? Okay, I'd say that a number of you know more about it than I do. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so like I said, I've got uh, loads of dummy content, and then I created a simple view, <clears throat> which just lists that content. So uh, it's just like title and body. Um, but this could be whatever you need. Um, yeah. Because I've installed the services views module, it means that I can access this view um, as JSON. So if I go back to home. Um, one little thing I found, I don't know if some people who have used it more than I have. If I open my... JSON feed in the same browser as the browser that I'm logged into Drupal as, it logs me out. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen that before. I should probably raise an issue about it. Anyway, um, so basically, yeah, the first parameter in the URL is JSON because that's the endpoint that I defined. The second is views because I'm loading a view and that's how services views structures its, um, its URLs. And then the last one is the name of your view. Um, so I'm in incognito, 
so that I don't get kicked out. And there it is, our, our beautiful JSON feed. Um, I thought that was kind of a horrible way to end a demo. So I, um, then I just read that into a page. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't build a mobile app yet. But um, yeah, it's a nice, simple. Um, yeah, so it just reads from uh, the, the Drupal server. It's running on a separate PHP server and just reads it and renders it, I guess. Um, cool. So that's my like five minute services demo. Has yeah. anyone got any questions? I have a question. On the, on the view that you had there, it's, yes. um, I noticed it was paginated. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what happens then on the, the JSON feed is it does it just show the first 10 items? It's a very or does good it show question. Or um, does it give you some API interface to page, go through the pages, go forwards and backwards? It shows the first 10. Okay. I just counted them. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how far you can go with that. I think you could probably. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure to be honest. I guess if I was doing this in an actual mobile app, I wouldn't just load it every time you loaded the page. You'd kind of sync it and then handle it. Do you know if there. you can have, uh, on, on your view, if you can add contextual filters that then correspond to arguments yeah. in your part? <clears throat> so that's what I would plan to do, I think. Um, if I was going to build the whole thing out, I'd have. Um, yeah, that's how I would do it. Yeah, cool. So that's one way you could paginate it potentially. I, yeah. Go yeah. through all the data. Yeah. Um, I guess I'd probably save it locally onto the device if it was a phone. Sure. Um, and then do it there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I missed the question. <laughs> I heard he heard garlic. Like <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, right. so we <laughs> yeah, so I hope someone found that useful. Uh, and um, a big thank you to Jack and to John. To Jack and to John. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>